Hi everyone! It's the English Simmer here and it has been a while since I've done kind of one of these sit down videos where I just discuss a topic with you guys. So I thought I would upload one this weekend on the five forgotten features of The Sims 4. Some of them are from my own personal experience of playing a lot of hours of The Sims 4 and some of them are yours that you guys have told me in comments or like on my Twitch streams. Just things that you generally forget sort of exist in the game and I am here to remind you all that yes these are actually inbuilt features of the game but you probably didn't even remember that they exist. So the first one is a very personal one, it's one that a lot of people yell at me specifically for. It's a feature of create a sim that I use an awful lot. However, I always forget that this exists in build and buy mode, hence when I'm looking for like a black wallpaper or something, loads of you guys are just like, Molly, just use the filter. Yes, it is the filter system. I always forget that the filter system exists not only for packs, so you can just find individual items by what pack they were included in, but also based on colour. Colour is the tag that I always, always forget exists in the game. So if I'm looking for a specific wallpaper or anything like that, I never use the tag system and you guys yell at me so much for this. So it's a really simple feature where you can just hit what colour you want to find, you can choose multiple tags if you want to, and the game will sort all of those items for you in build and buy mode. What? That is such a handy feature and I am forever forgetting that it's even a part of the game. The next one is one that I have brought up in previous videos and the comment section is always like, I had no idea this feature was even in the game until you mentioned it. And it is the Sims stats feature. So on the Sims Ugh. personality, you can click the little like bar graph symbol and it will show you how many times your Sims have done a specific action. For example, like peeing themselves or making food. I can't remember off the top of my head what it counts. I think it's like how many times a Sim has woohooed, how many kisses they've had, and it calculates all of your stats for each specific Sim in a household. I mentioned this way back in one of my original Asylum Challenge videos when I was like checking the rules. I was seeing like how many times my Sim had like wet themselves in the Asylum, and all of the comment section were just comment saying that nobody had any idea that this feature was even in the game until I told them that it even existed. So that is definitely one that's forgotten by probably the majority of Sims players. I mean it's not super handy but it is a fun little feature to know about like if you want to check up on how well you have been playing The Sims. If you want to look at The Sims as one of those games where say your sim not peeing themselves means that objectively you're quite good at that game I guess because you can look after these tiny little pixel humans. Number three on the list is again something that I have done very recently in my videos and it is the grilled cheese aspiration. I think this actually came out sometime just after Get Together was released and I think it was part of a free patch update and there was the secret grilled cheese aspiration. Everyone always forgets that that is an aspiration. It is a secret because it does actually have to be unlocked by you. I think it's eating three or four five grilled cheese sandwiches in a row. I think your sim has to eat either three or five. I think it might be three in a row. I recently did it in the Asylum Challenge 2.0. Destiny actually had the grilled cheese aspiration as one of her aspirations that she had to complete. Warning, your sims will gain weight. So if you don't want them to, make sure you buy a treadmill or something of that nature because they will gain a lot of weight if your sim is eating 
putting as many grilled cheese as you need to for that aspiration. It's actually a really hard aspiration to do. One of the things that you have to do is have a sim eat a grilled cheese in space, which I mean, unless your sim is an astronaut, you actually have to work really hard on that one. Not so hard now that we have GeekCon in the game. And your sim also has to, I think, gush about grilled cheese to the Grim Reaper. So either you have to be lucky and have a sim die around your sim so that you can interact with him, or it can get very dark and your sim physically has to kill off another sim to gush about their love of grilled cheese to the Grim Reaper. So you can take that in a lot of different ways. Honestly, probably one of the most terrifying aspirations in the game, but everyone completely forgets that it's even in there because it's a secret one that you actually have to unlock. Number four was actually you guys. You suggested this one and it is auto-solving your sim's needs. I use this one an awful lot. It is a saviour in Let's Plays when you don't really want to focus on a sim, you're kind of focused on someone else. You don't really want to be playing around with like all of their needs constantly. You can hit the circular button, so say if your sim needs the toilet, you can hit the toilet button next to the bar and your sim will actually go and auto-solve that need. Like I said, it is a godsend if you are a let's player and you don't really want to like have to click on a sim, click on the toilet, get them to pee. I know it doesn't seem like that much of an effort, but autosolve is honestly a godsend. If you don't use autosolve, I highly suggest you start using it because although it only takes like seconds out of your game, it's actually way more productive to use. If you're not really that fussed by what your sim like grabs out of the fridge, you're not really fussed about what they eat, then just hit that auto solve button and they will either eat a quick snack or they'll make something if they are hungry enough. And then last but not least, there is pen pals. I am guilty of this one. I will hold my hand up high and say, I never use pen pals in The Sims 4. I think they're a fun little feature to have, but they don't really do much. Like your sims never really interact with them unless you go out of your way to like create this pen pal and like bring them into your sims world, like maybe have them stay with them for like a few weeks or something like that. But pen pals, you can actually just try and find a pen pal on your PC. And once you have actually found one, you can then continuously write like to and from your pen pal. And if you actually talk to them for long enough, they will start sending you postcards, which is a little collection in The Sims 4. I never ever play with pen pals. I probably should though. I think they are a cute little feature. Like they're something that we've never really seen in The Sims and they're all throwbacks to previous worlds from The Sims 3, which is kind of cute. So it's kind of like your Sims 4 Sims and Sims 3 Sims like interact with each other, but I just never use them because I never really feel as if I have the need for them. My Sims are barely sociable anyway, like talking face to face. So what makes you think that they're gonna be sociable online? They'd rather just sit and play The Sims, kind of like myself. So that pretty much rounds up this video. Those are five forgotten features that either I personally forget exist or some of your suggestions as well. Leave your forgotten features down below. If there were any that I just listed that you forgot were even in the game, or maybe you didn't even know was even possible in The Sims 4, then let me know. I would love to hear what you guys always forget. I also heard examples like traveling to Sixum, which again, I personally never do, but that's more than five, so I need to stop this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any suggestions of any other future sit down videos that you want to see, definitely leave them in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye guys!